Earth's surface is covered by water, covering 71% of its surface. If water and land were distributed equally, half of the planet would become land, and the other half would be water. This would result in a creepy ocean planet, with no small islands, or even a few small islands on it. The world would be practically uninhabitable, with thick fog and clouds, high humidity, and difficult navigation. Welcome to Metamagics. Life on this planet would be incredibly difficult, as it would have to withstand pressure of over 20,000 Earth atmospheres. Even the most horrifying monsters from the Mariana Trench would be nothing in comparison to the creatures found on this ocean planet. Another option is to have 50% water and 50% land. To achieve this, we would need to reduce the current amount of water from 71 to 50%, causing sea levels to drop by about two miles and a quarter of the planet becoming dry land. This would result in the disappearance of five interconnected oceans, Atlantic, Indian Pacific, Southern, and Arctic. If sea levels were reduced, all continents would merge into one giant landmass, similar to swapping land for water. While walking around the world would seem cool, the amount of land required would also increase, and every continent would grow in size. The concept of new territory, equivalent to the current area of Asia, Europe, Africa, and North America, would create a vast mass of unused space. However, these territories would be mostly flat, with vast corridors and steep crevices in areas where deep oceans once existed. Sunken cities, such as Atlantis, would return to the surface, but they would not be as exciting as they were in the past. A severe loss of water would disrupt ocean currents, leading to extreme climate problems. The Earth's temperature would become hotter near the equator and colder around the North and South Poles. Antarctic ice wouldn't save us, and regions around the North and South Poles would dry out into dry, cold deserts. Water also absorbs carbon dioxide from the air, which would accumulate in the atmosphere, leading to dangerous droughts and massive forest fires. Despite the new territories, building new cities and towns would be difficult due to the disappearance of forests and plants, migration of animals to more pleasant places, and difficulty finding food. All life on Earth would have to adapt to new living conditions, evolve quickly, and adapt to the constant shortage of water. Animals would shrink due to the lack of grass and moisture, leading to a strictly carnivorous diet. Mankind would likely make a significant evolutionary step backward, losing resources, access to hydroelectric power, and factories. Protecting the current ratio of water and land is crucial, as too little or too much water could lead to disastrous consequences. In conclusion, while an ocean planet may seem like a good option, it would be far from the best option due to the challenges of food, resources, and repair. That's why we must do everything in our power to preserve the current circumstances. That's it for now. So if this quenched your curiosity, hit the like button and tell your friends about it. Click on these videos to continue exploring the metamagics.